So what we're doing here is the Friedel Crafts alkylation. We're starting off with a benzene, making a terpene benzene, alkylated benzene, using a uh, Lewis acid and terpene chloride. So first of all, we're generating the electrophile uh, using a Lewis acid, which is first of all, it's going to be accepting a lone pair from the chlorine, and through coordination, we're going to be making the Zwitter ion. So Zwitter ion being highly unstable, uh, it's going to go heterolysis, making our electrophile, and specific making the alkyl cation, cation, which is a really good electrophile. Electrophile being electron loving, is going to attach the electron rich benzene, making this species. Um, initially, this is going to be formed through electrophilic addition, and from here, from here onwards, we're going to have electrophile elimination, which the H is going to be eliminated from the Lewis acid and generating the Lewis acid catalyst, which is yeah, going to be used for the ongoing reaction. And the final step, electrophile elimination, is going to make our terpenoid. Two limitations to the Friedel cross alkylation reaction. The first one is they're susceptible to carbocation rearrangement. For example, in this reaction, if there was no carbocation rearrangement, we would form propyl benzene. But because there is carbocation rearrangement, we have a one to hydride shift that that forms isopropyl benzene. The second limitation to the Friedel cross alkylation is that it doesn't readily occur unless the halogen atom of the alkyl halide is bonded to an sp3 hybridized carbon. For these two examples, both of the carbons are that are attached to the Cl are sp2 hybridized. This means that the bond strength is very high for the carbon chlorine bond and the stability of the carbon cation is very low. So now what we're going to talk about is Friedel crafts acylation. Nothing different from an alkylation. We're using the same compound, starting off with the benzene, making a ketone group to be attached on the benzene, which is uh, one phenylpropane, one O. We're doing this uh, using a Lewis acid and an acid chloride. So these, these two things are being used, besides this, like I said before, to generate the electrophile, the acetylene line. So first of all, the uh, lone pair from the chlorine coming off of the acid chloride is going to be accepted by the A, by the Lewis acid, and through coordination, we're going to be making the Zwitter ion. Zwitter ion being highly unstable is under, is going to undergo hydrolysis, generating our electrophile. The electrophile here is acetylene ion, which is highly positive, highly positive and highly, highly react, reactive. And uh, so this electrophile being high, electron loving is going to go to a electron rich area which is the benzene or vice versa and then through electrophilic addition we're going to be generating this species in which the H is going to be attracted by the Lewis acid and through electrophilic elimination we're going to be generating our final product in this case one, wait, two, wait. oh my god are you ready <laughs> one two three so following the whole mechanism correctly um, we formed the uh, the ketone group being attached to the benzene, in the sense, this pro this product being one phenyl propane one own. So uh, the take home thing about this is uh, limitation being under the Friedel Crafts alkylation that we don't we can't have a primary carbon being joined or being bonded to the benzene. But in this case, since we have a ketone to the benzene, we can make this undergo certain reductions such as uh, Wolf Fischer reduction or Clemson reduction, in which this ketone can be uh, reduced to a primary carbon. In essence, what we have is, under Wolf, under Friedel Crafts alkylation, we cannot have a primary carbon joined to the benzene, but under acylation, making the ketone and making it undergo certain reductions, we can have a primary carbon joined to the benzene. That's the plus point. Limitations of Friedel Craft alkylation, alkyl halides must be bonded to sp3 hybridized carbons. It's susceptible to carbon rearrangement. Consideration for Friedel Craft's acylation. It's not susceptible to carbocations rearrangement. As a means of formulations, it requires in C2 formations of the very unstable acid chloride. Work, 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 work. You see me, I be work, 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 work.